Hello everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, wherever you are. I wanted to check in with everybody and just like share how great I've been feeling. Like I feel like I went through like some more growing pain spiritually and then all of a sudden because I, I just write about it, right? I wrote some really, really dark poems that might turn into songs but dark <laughs> people are like Did that come out of you i'm like mm, yep <laughs> like yes i can i had completely like embraced my dark side too like it was some crazy stuff i might post them on here or when i put them in my book or something <laughs> might just be a book of poems but anyways um i've always when i do meditations you know when i get downloads when I listen to other spiritual people like there's a lot of signs and synchronicities that come into play right and like I've been seeing like this white butterfly it doesn't matter what time I take my dog for a walk or how many walks I take him on a day it's always a white butterfly walking with me to me and it doesn't matter if I'm walking in my neighborhood or if I'm going on a hike seriously little white butterfly to me that's my ancestors and today there wasn't just one white butterfly there was two there was one that found the other one and then there was a beautiful um, yellow and black one I forget what those are called I know it's not the monarch because those are like the blue ones right but anyways then I went to another park oh but anyways like more butterflies right then there was this beautiful like yellow and black one beautiful and it was huge like I swear it, was, it looked like it was like half the size of my hand and I have small hands but you know for a butterfly yeah um and then I took my my son my puppy which is my son my fur baby to a park right and we we're by ourselves and I see this cute butterfly and it's just like the same one that I saw in my neighborhood that I had seen in the morning when I taken him for a walk, right? And I was like, oh, it was smaller, but it was really beautiful and it was the same color. It's flying around, it's flying around. And I just see it off at a distance, right? And I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna take a video. You know, cause I wanna share with you guys. Like I always share my natural beauty pictures and videos and stuff like with you guys because you know, Gaia Earth is beautiful. God created all of these beautiful things for us. And um, so anyways, the butterfly's flying around. And then here comes another one. And there was a little white one too in the video. There was a little white one too. But the white one was just like, it kind of took off like, hey, to get my attention, right? And then here comes the yellow one. The yellow one's flying around. And then guess what happened? And it was very symbolic. Another one came. It was like its twin. Was like it's mate and I've been getting for the last couple days very heavy heavy energy right heavy energy I don't know if it's like divine masculines and other divine feminines have left their karmic relationships or just relationships that are, were not serving them and then and yes I do have a feather in my hair <laughs> like it's huge too like it so this is when I went to the second part today and I don't even know what kind of feather this is but I don't think it's just a crow this is like a hawk or something it's huge and I love it it's a gift from the universe <laughs> but anyways back to what I was saying I just want to share that this is a message for all of you that are on a spiritual journey and that have been I don't even like to say waiting like been doing your thing and it was 421 on the clock which is my birthday which is also good luck which is also messiah 421 which i will definitely have to be sharing with you guys later not have to but i want to um which is how i found and took my pledge you know my oath for my contract with god just like my song right yeah um but anyways now i'm getting sidetracked i do have adhd can you tell <laughs> but anyways um so I know that all these divine unions are coming together, whether you're a twin flame or it's a, it's your actual true soulmate or your other half. 
there's a big awakening because it's the year eight, right? It's about karma. Whether you have good karma or bad karma coming, your time is up. I have lots of good karma coming because I've went through a lot of karmic cycles. I've learned a lot of ancestral um, lineage stuff. I've done a lot for all this time that I've been alive, and especially the last couple years. I was just like, oh, MG, right? So you've been doing your work. Keep doing your spiritual cleanses. Um, follow me some more. Go back through my videos, and you'll see how my journey has progressed. And I'm also going to write about it and somehow, like, put a bunch of videos, like, in order. And uh, I write a book, like my ADHD <laughs> so I just do like one creative thing a day sometimes two or three but you know um, the organization of it sometimes is a little uh because I just want to be the creative but I'm pretty organized too um, but anyways unions are coming together and I'm gonna post that video for you guys and share it keep having faith don't wait for anybody because even if you are a twin flame it doesn't mean that your other half is even in this realm. They may not even, their soul may not even be here. Could be up with God or, you know, 5D and above, you know, all the way up, 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 up. But if it is your time and on this earth plane is supposed to be the time, the year, or this lifetime that you're supposed to actually be with your twin, unions are coming into play there because we're raising the vibration of the earth which also helps the universe it does because when we raise the vibration of love you know I have a song called rise vibe and that's probably the one I probably need to be working on next because that one like contract with God is raising the vibe raising the vibration of this earth and I know how to do it. I just need help. Because I can't do it all myself, right? But this is crazy. Analytical. Spiritual. Um, mind. Like, little genius. But, like, I need an engineer or something to figure the rest of it out. But, you know, I'm just like, what would Einstein do? One of my favorite people of all times. One of my favorite souls of all times. Anyway, so I will post that video, but just remember that this message is not just from Trish Angel. It's from God, Jesus, angels and ancestors, that you will get what you deserve. And people that follow me have their heart chakra open. So when you have your heart chakra open, you're going to be getting all of your rewards. Because guess what God is within us, just like Jesus showed us. But God is love. And when you put out love, you get love back. Yes. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Or else they can talk to me. Really, they'll, like God sees everything, right? And you know why? Because we're all vibrations. So let's keep raising this son of a bitch. <laughs> to raise this vibration. Let's keep doing it. Keep loving. Be kind to others. You know? Keep doing unto others as you would do unto your as you would want done unto yourself. Be kind to strangers. Be kind to people that are mean to you. Or just be stoic. I'm so into the stoicism now. Seriously. Um, but I love you all. Love yourself first. Yes, it's not selfish. 